Hello, Ski, everybody, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Uh, we're doing another pack opening video. I have way too many gems, and I need to s waste them all getting garbage cards that I already have 12 of. That's uh, kind of the... Well, first let me see what this business is. Ooh, a fifth box. Duel-a-thon event. Okay. Uh, probably should have checked all this before I started doing my video, now that I'm thinking about it. But, you know what, whatever. I'll get to it later. Whoa. Pro oh yeah, World Championship Preliminaries are done. Um... I got to gold, I didn't even get to king of games, so I highly doubt I qualify for anything. Uh, I'm not that good, you know. I don't think I have enough time to dedicate to a cell phone game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so... Yep. Anyhow, after I check these, okay, uh, we're gonna just d delve right inward, uh, straight to the box, and, uh, you know what, um, I actually haven't decided yet what I'm gonna pull from, I need to pull from Valkyrie's Rage, there, I need the unhappy girl, it's just vital that I get this card, and I literally don't care about anything else. This would be kind of cool to have, I guess, but it's not necessary. I just want this. And there's six left in the whole pack, and I've pulled so... In this whole box, there's six left, and I've pulled so many cards. It's like, how would I, how would I not have gotten at least one by now? But, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Here go, 500 gems. I need, I want at least one, like, come on, it's just absurd. <laughs> Chain healing, uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Chernobyl sol soldier lady, okay. This is a great start. Absolutely nothing that I wanted. Um, okay, kind of interesting. Okay, I'll see you next. Sorcerer and Shinobird Crow. Yep. Disappear. Sort of Kusanagi. Dark Mirror Force. Alright, well, we're like, what is this, four or five packs in? And already, uh, absolutely nothing. Ooh, this is a good one. Adhesion Trap Hole. Uh, I, I kind of like this. Um, it's a good card. It, it's a permanent debuff to an opponent's monster, so uh, it could really get you out of some jams. Uh, I don't think it's spectacularly useful, but it can really come in handy if you need something extra to slide into your deck. Ooh, is that a prismatic in the back? Hell yeah, it is. It's a Jing Zen Hu. Set, select two set spell or trap cards on the field, and then they can't be activated. Ooh, it's a continuous trap card, so unfortunately you do have to give up uh, a slot in your back row. But it can shut down your opponent's back row. Um, and if you have um, Surgeant Electro, you know, you could basically disallow any spell or trap cards, which is enormously powerful. I think that's a great card. Great Long Nose. I really... I really like that name. Another one of these. Taylor of the Fickle. Switch one. Yeah, yeah. Great Long Nose. Yet another one. <laughs> Straight flush, Dark Mimic all the three. Okay, well, that was complete garbage, and I did not get Unhappy Girl. But you know what? It, I'm wrong when I say it was complete garbage, because we got two super rare cards. This and uh, Adhesion Trap Hole. So, pretty good, pretty good, actually. 
Um, I... I think I give up. I don't want to... Pull in... Shoot. You know what? I don't give up anymore. I'm going for it. I'm a brave young man. With a brave young soul. And I'm gonna do this. Yes! <laughs> Unbelievable. Finally I got one. It's about time, you know? Finally. Now watch, I'm gonna get like all six of them. With these... <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrible? I would cry. Ooh, I got glowies. I don't know what that's all about. Another unhappy girl. Wow. Here they come. I'm glad I decided to pull finally. All right, we got a Theban Nightmare and a Ritual Raven. I like Ritual Raven. Um, not spectacular. Spe not, 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 not the greatest card because, uh, you know, Relinquish is kind of the only uh, viable uh, ritual. But, you know, whatever. And contract with the abyss. Stuff's blowing it. Spears mutation, accumulated fortune, dark mimic level one. Yeah, I don't really care what else I get past this point. Unless it's another unhappy girl, then I would be very happy. The opposite of the girl, actually. Come on, baby, give me a third. That would be phenomenal. Uh, I don't think it's happening, boys. Gradius. Mystical Wind Typhoon. Veil of Darkness. Is this the last one? I thought that was 10th, but I, I can never... I never count. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> Okay, yep. Well, I got two on Happy Girl. Um, so, you know, pretty nice overall. And now I'm, I, I think I'm done with Valkyrie's Rage. I hate this box. It hasn't given me uh, the best of luck until just now. So, uh, screw that. Now I'm finally going to pull from this, uh, this Land of the Titans. And I haven't pulled a single thing from here yet. So, let me just do exactly that. And I know it has some unique cards, like Double Summon, um, that are pretty useful, if I'm not mistaken. Activate only if there is at least one true skate, a mouse fighter, a monk fighter, master monk on your side of the field, destroy the monsters that battle with these monsters at the end of the damage step. Okay, I see how that works. Road Knight? <laughs> Please stop. Each time your <laughs> each time your opponent special summons a monster, places one nut counter on this card. Oh jeez, you can remove one nut counter from this card to target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Nut counters, really? Oh god, road nut. This thing, just get it away from me. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Needlebug Nest. Send the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Alright, not bad if you have a graveyard focus deck. I can see that coming in handy. And there he is, Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. He's so cool looking, but it's such a garbage card. Monk Fighter. And Enraged Muka Muka. Oh, so I, regular Mooka Mooka I have, I think, two of, so, um, uh, it's pretty good. Three Hump Lakuda. If there were three face-up, three Hump Lakuda cards on your side of the field, tribute two of them to draw three cards. This is the most situational card in world history. Nekoman Main King. <laughs> I was about to say Nekomane King. During your opponent's turn, when this card is in your, in your possession, sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect, it becomes the end phase of this turn. Wow. Okay. Pretty cool. Uh, very situational yet again. But still kind of cool. Naturia Pineapple. All face-up monsters you control are treated as plant type. Ooh, that's nice. That's a pretty good effect. 
During your standby phase, if you do not control a face up the your pineapple and have no monsters in your graveyard except plant or beast type, you could special summon it from your graveyard. Ooh! Okay, I can see this having synergy with some other stuff. Kangaroo Champ, a monster that battles with this card is changed to defense position after damage calculation. Okay, well, it doesn't seem spectacularly useful, but um, if you have Holy Guard, maybe it's a little better. Or maybe there's something else that can make it better. And you put Monster to Shores, you put this monster to battle and send it to graveyard and put damage. Oh, it gives it piercing. Not very useful. A Mary Least. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard and normal summon one monster this turn for one last tribute. Oh, snap. That's pretty good. It's like a cost down, except instead of sacrificing a card from your hand, you just banish it from your graveyard. It's pretty solid. Flip. Your opponent cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. Alright, not great. Kangaroo Champ. Nibble Musasabi. <laughs> When this card is destroyed by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. You can also special summon up to two of them from your deck to your opponent's side of the field. Wow, very interesting. Um, you need three of them. That's the thing. You can't not have three of them. <laughs> Royal Surrender. Activate only when your opponent activates a continuous trap card and negate the activation of the effect of the card and destroy it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, okay. Um, not sure how many continuous trap cards are in the meta right now, so maybe this isn't that great. But if one ever does crop up, I'll know how to counter it. If the defense of the attack defense position monster on your side of the field is higher than the attack of the attacking monster on your opponent's side of the field, destroy the attacking monster. Okay. Um, Death Kangaroo kind of works in much the same way, so that's pretty nice. Plant Food Chain. Target one plant type monster you control, equip that, this card to that target. It gains 500 attack. If this card is destroyed by a card effect while equipped, you can target one plant type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Wow! That is quite a card. Um, I can really see it coming in handy. Uh... Except the last effect is kind of more situational than my initial reading had me thinking, so maybe not so great. But still, the 500 attack, that's a pretty solid boost, and it's permanent, it's not like it wears off. Big March of Animals, until the end of this turn, I'll face a beast-type monster on your side of the field, gain 200 attack for each beast-type monster on your side of the field. I feel like I uh, <laughs> was a little redundant there, but I kind of understand what's going on here. Another Naturia Pineapple! Heck yeah. Necro Moon King. Retort. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card with the same name as one in your graveyard, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Then you can add one card with that name from your graveyard to your hand. That's completely... Oh my gosh. That's pretty good. It, I, it seems situational at first glance. But, if you have common cards like Windstorm of Etika, if you have that or one of several other very common cards, uh, this is, this will come, come very, it'll prove itself very helpful. Enrage Muka Muka again. Guard Dog again. Necromant King again, I have three now. Flower Bot. If this card is sent to the graveyard, draw one card, and then place one card from your hand on the top of the deck? Huh. So, it's kind of like Card Trader, except it activates upon being sent to the graveyard, and also you have to do it. Very nice. Um, you can sort of swap out the weakest card in your deck. Um, in your hand, I mean. Seed of Flame. When this card you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can target one level 4 level plant type monster in your graveyard, accept Seed of Flame, special summon it, and if you do, special summon a seed token on your opponent's side of the field. Wow. Pretty solid. 
What a card. How is this only three stars? Is this not as good as I think it is somehow? Oh, it has to be destroyed by a card effect. I see. Well, I mean, still pretty nice though. I mean, 1600 attack, plant type, and fire type. I, I don't think that's so bad. Wow, I'm very impressed with the uh, unique stuff I've been getting from this uh, pack. From this box, mini box. Uh, it's been very cool. Got a lot of unique stuff. And a lot of not so unique stuff. But, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Didn't get any of the super rares or ultra rares. And given what I've seen so far, they must be like pretty insanely good. Um, so maybe I'm gonna delve in further into this mini box uh, next episode. Um, but at the same time, I might be holding out for the next incoming box. So, we'll see about that. Anyway, this has been Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Jake, uh, opens a bunch of virtual fake cards and commentates over it as if he, they matter. Uh, th th thank you for, for listening to my terrifyingly awful content. And peace out, Girl Scout.